part 4 properties of additions very first property we are going to see is a closure so what is an closure means if a and b if we took a and b as a integer then a plus b is also integer that means if i add two integer the answer should be an integer that is the closure so here um, see for an example minus 7 plus minus 4 here minus 7 is an integer and minus 4 is an integer whenever i am adding these two integer i am getting the answer as minus 11 so minus 11 is also integer that means uh, the closure property is under addition Okay, so that is the condition is true. Whenever I add two integer, the answer is also an integer. So what is the second property? The second property is a commutative. So what is a commutative means if a and b are integer, then a plus b equal to b plus a. That is the reverse format. Whenever I add the reverse format, that is also true. So for our ex example, see here, uh, minus 5 plus 3. Minus 5 is a negative integer and 3 is a positive integer. Whenever I add these two integer, the answer is a minus 2. That is here uh, a is the mm, minus 5 and b is the 3. Now what I have to do? I have to interchange the values. So I have to write the first value b that is 3. Uh, then uh, second as a a. So uh, 3 plus minus 5. So the answer is a minus 2. That is so we are getting a plus b equal to minus 2 as well as b plus a equal to minus 2. We are getting the same answer. That means uh, com uh, under commutative uh, the it is um, integer is closed. Okay, so a plus b equal to b plus a. The condition is true in addition. Okay, so what is the next one? Associativity. So what is an associativity? If a, b, c, these three are integer, then a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c. So that means here we are interchanging the bracket. Okay, so what is the first condition? a plus b plus c. So here I take the value a as 3 and b as minus 4 and c as 5. Okay, so a plus b plus c. So what is the addition operation? So within a bracket should be executed first. So here within a bracket I am having the barrier, uh, integers minus 4 and 5. So minus 4 is the negative integer and 5 is the positive integer. So whenever I add these two, these two are having the different sign. That means you have to subtract. So minus 4 plus 5. So the answer is 1. What is the biggest number here? The biggest number is the 5. So here we get the answer as 1. Then uh, 3 plus 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So a plus b within a bracket b plus c. So the answer is 4. So what is the next condition we have to check? We have to check the um, right hand side. That is uh, we have to interchange the bracket. So we have to put the bracket a plus b. So 3 plus minus 4 within a bracket it should be written. Then plus 5. So what is the condition of operation? Very first the bracket should be executed. So inside the bracket we are having the two integer. One is an 3. Another one is a minus 4. So these two are different integer. One is an positive integer. Another one is a negative integer. That means we have to subtract and put the um, biggest number sign. So so 4 minus 3 is 1 which is the biggest number here minus 4. So the sign is a negative so I have to put it as minus 1. So minus 1 plus 5. So again we are having the two different integer. One is a positive value another one is a negative value. So that means we have to subtract. Minus 1 plus 5. So whenever I subtract I get the answer as 4. So um, which is the biggest number here? 5 is the biggest number. What is the sign of 5? It is plus. So you have to write the answer as an 4. Now check the value LHS and RHS. So both are having the same value that is a 4. That means A plus B plus C equal to A plus B plus C. That is uh, the associativity property is true uh, under addition. Okay, so what is the next one? Additive identity. So before going identity, we will see uh, about zero. If any value that is added with the zero, we get the same value. 
right so zero is called as the additive identity okay so see here an example 5 plus 0 so the answer will be 5 the same number i get again 0 plus minus 6 the answer is a minus 6 so uh, which is the identity here zero is the additive identity any value that should be added with the zero we get the same value so that is in general term we can write it as a plus zero equal to zero plus a equal to a okay so next one is an additive inverse so additive inverse means uh, whenever i add the two values i have to get the answer as zero when i will get the um, answer zero whenever uh, the two numbers are having the opposite sign with the same value then we get the answer as zero see here if uh, i the first number is 2. What is the second number? The second number I have to add is a minus 2. So, there, that is uh, we are here uh, put the different sign. One is a positive value, another one is a negative value. So, so, then only we will get the answer 0. So, what is the additive inverse for 2? The additive inverse for 2 is the minus 2. Okay. So, see the another example. The first value is a minus 8. So, that means when I will get the 0, I have to put the different sign for the first number. So, it is minus means I have to put the positive sign with the same number. So, the number is an 8. So, what is the additive, um, additive inverse for minus 8? It will be 8. In general term, I can write it as a, um, for the number a, what is the additive inverse? For the integer a, what is the additive inverse? Minus a is the additive inverse.